the story of African homemade planes and choppers is quite interesting. Some have injured themselves while trying to take off, while others were a bit successful. So here is how some of those amateur engineers and inventors have managed to build their planes and choppers with nothing but scraps and metals. My name is Paul Ona. I'm from Benue State of the local government, Oguri 2. God tell me that make I build a aeroplane. This is why I tell my God that how I can get money to build a aeroplane. He say make I do it. I say okay, I will do it because I should say, they could help me. They, they, from that time, God, they help me, small, 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 small and they use and they get money and uh, to build the aeroplane. This is a helicopter jet. So I'm not sure if this is a chopper or a plane built by Paul from Nigeria, but he claims that it's a helicopter jet. So we'll go with it. Have you been dreaming of building this when you were very small or it was when you started your welding job that you started with this idea? Okay, this idea is that the time why they work, I don't have money. But I cry. There, one day I cry. As I cry, I tell my God that wait, what my work, what I can do. God, I dream. My father, he don't die. He come and tell me that go, go and build the aeroplane. I tell my father that how can God money to build the aeroplane? I go meet my brother. That my my papa, my God, my my father say that make I build the aeroplane. But all my brother he refuse. So he's saying that one day he cried to God and then his dead father appeared to him in a dream and told him to go build an airplane. He then asked his father where can he get the money to build the airplane. I guess he didn't answer him. So he went to his brother after having that dream and told him that their father had sent him to build an airplane. But of course his brother in his right mind refused. But a uh, blade, iron, I did a uh, plate uh, from Oyo. It's a really plate. Okay. Not a fake uh, plate. Okay. If you say that make a clap him, I will clap him. Because it's strong in plate. Okay. I genuinely can't tell if this is a joke or not. Because the rotor blade is a ceiling fan. A ceiling fan cannot generate any lift, no matter what engine you put on that thing. So basically, this man does not have a clue about basic aircraft technology, let alone what he's saying. Tell us the names of the materials you use, as in the materials, all the things you use in building this airplane. Mm, this uh, materials, I use a plate iron. Okay. I use a iron. Okay. If an adult white man built something like this in the West, he would be considered mentally unstable. But in Africa, it's considered genius. The news even comes out to interview the genius. I just love how the interviewer is amazed that this genius built this by himself. Now, you said you built a plate. Was it that you copied what other people have done? Maybe like the person that invented the plate. Was it that you copied this idea? Or did you get this idea to design this to come about all these things? Okay, this is my idea is that... The car dashboard that he just dropped into it looks like it was trimmed with a machete. Okay, this is my idea is that... The plane even has a gear lever that is near the gas tank. As you see me, I don't touch aeroplane since why I was born. I don't touch aeroplane. I see it where they fly. Okay. Again, I bought a, a how do you call it? That, a, that small one with the sell for market. Toys. That's a toy. Okay. I bought it. I bought a cassette. I just seen it for inside cassette. Okay. As you see, I see inside cassette. That I used video. to build it. Presently, how much do you think has gone into the amount you have spent? How much? I love the smiley face and button nose the helicopter has when the hood is closed. This thing can only be sold as art because it will never fly. 
the only possible way to make it fly would be maybe by pushing it off a cliff. The amount I spent now, I spent like, uh, if I calculate, I spent like high years plan. We see this uh, why uh, 300 now. 300,000 years? Yes, with motor. Okay. Sport. So would you think this thing will fly? Uh -uh, why not? We will fly. We will fly. For, for, for an airplane or a helicopter to fly, the buoyancy, it has to maintain the particular buoyancy as in, in the air. Mm -hmm. So will this thing maintain that sort of buoyancy too? Uh, this one now. Uh, I know my, my, my work is that. I know that it will be flying. We can road for road, but we can fly. So it uses a Nissan car engine that has the radiator closed under the hood, meaning it will overheat just by turning it on for a few minutes because the radiator clearly has no ventilation. Did anybody assist you while you were building this? No, nobody. You did it all by yourself? By myself. The welding, the journey of the tires, yes, the everything. propeller and everything. everything. Nobody. Nobody. Now, let's take a look at one last invention. So this was built by someone in Uganda. Now, I don't know where he got the schematics of this death trap that he built. Maybe it was after he took some Ugandan wine that the people of his village gave him the schematics of this diagram. Because this thing clearly looks like a cartoon helicopter. I know many people say that he tried. He tried. We should encourage inventions in Africa. We should not encourage mediocrity. Because if someone does not know the fundamental principles of aerodynamics and is trying to commit suicide, you don't encourage him. Look at the people around. It's like they're waiting to be beheaded. Because that plate that is spinning without stability slipped off, it will definitely cause harm, like chopping someone's head off. And the people are just right there, watching that death trap shaking, while they know very well that blade may slip off, because this man does not understand the basic principles of making an airplane. Now that guy in that chopper says that he wants to invent things. But first, that engine is a motorcycle engine. That motorcycle engine cannot clearly generate enough energy to create lift. Second, there's a reason why there's a rotor blade on the tail of choppers. Because if there's no rotor blade, the chopper will just be spinning and turning. It will never lift off. So if he wants to invent, he should go and study the principles of aerodynamics before he kills someone and himself. Anyway, as Africa, I don't know how we can ever catch up with the rest of the planet because it's been more than 100 years since the first car and the first plane were ever built and now you can see what you're making. Now, I know that you cannot invent something that has already been made but I just wanted to talk about it because these guys here are referred to as inventors here in Africa. Anyway, that's it for now. We do live videos discussing some of these African inventions. So if you want to see more amazing things from Africa, please subscribe and hit on the notification bell to be notified when you go live.
click on the next video for more amazing content. Peace.